Hello viewers, from this session we will start our new module based on tendering. Tendering is most important terminology in our construction field. So first of all we will understand what is tender, then we will go for the tender process. So let us start with tender. What is tender? tender is an offer in writing. I repeat again, tender is an offer in writing for executing certain specific work. For example, you are an owner and you want to offer a particular type of the structure to the market for complete their work. So in that case, you have to offer the particular tender. It means you have to offer in return to market this is an offer in return for the executing certain specific work or we can say for the supplying the material for the labor for the any other type of the project for subjected to the certain terms and conditions like rates and time limit for example your work should be done within the three years or four years that should be mentioned in return offer and there is also mentioned the total amount of the project and while inviting the tenders the bill of quantities so in that bill of quantities mention the total quantity of the all the activities of that work and the detailed specifications, conditions of the contract and plans and the drawings are the supply to the contractor who wish to quote their rates or the payment of the, of the requisite tender cost. So in that case, if you are a client and you are offering to particular offer in return, it means you are offering a particular tender. So in that case, you mention about the terms and conditions bill of quantities, plans, specifications and other required document for that work. If we talk about the tender in detail, so tender may be depending upon the type of the work. We already discussed about the types of contract. For example, lump sum contract, item rate contract, cost plus contract, percentage rate contract, labor contract or any other BOT contract. So depending on the work, the tender can be also done with respect to that contract like lump sum tender, item rate tender, cost plus tender, percentage rate tender, labor tender and demolition tender. So it's depending upon the type of the work. And if we talk about the type of tender, there may be three types of the tender. For example, a government body wants to construct a particular type of the road construction work. So in that case, the government body will offer that a road construction work to the open market. So this is the one type of the tender. In second case, for example, you are an owner and you are working in the particular private consultancy or you want to offer a construction of specific residential building and you know that the there are the few contractors which are working that type of the work for example pre-tensioning of the element for example grid slab for example tapered section of steel structure so you know that type of the work are will be done by the few contractors so that is the limited work so this is the second case and in the third case for example you want to construct a specific skill work for example you want to offer 
a specific skill work for example swaminar and temple so in that case the skill labor will required for that work in that case the few contractors are working for the particular type of the structure and you are selecting by the negotiating one by one and selecting any one so that will be third case so depending upon the work depending upon the structure depending upon the requirements so tender may be changed now we will start the tender process so in tender process we have to follow the certain stage we will start from the preparation of the tender then we will select the particular mode of tender process then we will finalize the document for that work then the next stage will be invitation that work to the market next stage is processing and in the processing there are the many sub stages we can involve like the submitting of the tender opening of the tender rejecting of the tender scrutinizing of the tender so there are the many activities we can consider in processing and then after passing of the all the stages the, our last stage is award contract it means we have finalized the contractor to do that work so let us discuss one by one in detail so first one is preparation of tender this is the most important stage and we can say our first stage of the tender which is preparation of tender so in the preparation of the tender there should be mentioned the specific drawing specifications measurements all the all the details requirement for the completing of that work because depending upon the measurement depending upon the quantities depending upon the drawings depending upon the specifications the contractor will quote the rate for the particular structure so it means there should be tenity of the drawing specifications and the other requirements for that work and the second point we can consider in this stage is choose the conditions of the contract you have to define the general conditions you have to define the special conditions and next one is parties involved which stakeholders are involved in that work like architecture engineer qs client the project manager and for example i am a contractor and i want to do that work but you want to inspection by the third party persons so there should be mentioned the all the stakeholders will work with that contract so there should be certainty of the all the requirements to complete that work so there may be less chances of the dispute now our next step is to select the mode of tender process there are the three types of the mode we can consider first one is open tender or public tender i would like to take an example based on the government work for example government bodies want to construct the particular canal construction work in particular area so this is the open tender or public tender so in that case the public tender or open tender any one client is offering that work to the open to the market so any one can apply for that work and any one contractor can bid for that work this is the open tender we can say public tender and generally government is preferring this type of the mode and in this type of the mode we can filter with the international and national level of the contractors for example any government body or any client does not wants to international firms so in that case we can filter the national and international but open tender is offering an offer to the open to the market to national level to international level so anyone can bid for that work and take part to the process of the tender and the second 
type is selected tender or limited tender. So to understand this method, I would like to take an example. For example, you are a client and you are offering a particular type of the structure and you are working with a private consultant and for example, you want to construct the tapered section of this tree structure. So you know that there are the few contractors working with the tapered section of the steel structure working in the market. So there are the limitations of the contractor and the, you are selecting that contractor. So in that case, the selected tender is offered by the contractor. So this type of the mode we can consider as a selected tender or limited tender and next one is negotiated tender in the negotiated tender we are not offering an offer to the public once again i will take an example based on the swaminarayan temple so as we know in the swaminarayan temples type of the construction work they require the skill labor for that work so in that case we know that there are the few contractors working on the market so in that case the negotiation tender can be applied on that type of the work so in this type of the mode of the tender process we are negotiating these few contractors one by one and selecting any one with the communication so this is the negotiated tender. Our next step is shortlisted the selected contractor after the scrutinization of the process and after the analysis of the strength of the contractor and the background of the contractor and the facilities and the resources having of the contractor, we have to shortlisted of the contractor. So this is the select mode of the tender process. Now next process is documentation in the tendering process this is the most important in the documentation the compilation of letter of invitation of the tenders article of agreement there should be also conditions of contract form of tender form of tenders details for example contractors registration organization background track record, letter of acceptance of bank, insurance guarantee, forms, performance bond, bank and the insurance guarantee, forms for the advance payments, specifications, bills of quantities and relevant drawings. So these are the compilation of the document. So this is the one of the important stage for the tendering process. Now let us discuss about our next stage is the invitation after the finalizing after the preparing of the tender document then finalizing of the mode of the tender then documentation and our next stage is invitation so in this stage the invitations are allowed to the contractor so they may be by the public tender or open tender we can consider also the selected tender or limited tender and we can go for the invitation with the negotiated tender. So in the open tender, we are offering this in the open to the market and in the selected, the, the few contractor will participate for that work, for that bidding process and in the negotiations, there are the less competitions than the others. We will communicate to the each few contractors and then the selecting the particular type of the contractor so this is the invitations from the client side to the contractor now next one is process so after the invitations the contractor will quote the rate for that work and after submission of the tender so next stage is the processing of the opening of the tender scrutiny of tender acceptance of tender rejection of tender and selecting the particular type of the tender so there are the few 
process we can consider in this stage. So in the opening of the tender, we have to open this tender in front of the contractor. So in that case, there are the few envelopes we have to open by the client. So in the envelope, if the envelope mentions the withdrawal, means contractor doesn't want to participate this bidding process. So first of all, we have to remove this type of the envelope which has been mentioned by the withdrawal. This is allocation by contractor. And the second one is form number one. So in the form number one, there should be EMD, earnest money deposit. So during the applying of the construction work, in that case, earnest money should be submitted by the contractor. If there is absence of the earnest money deposit, EMD so this will be rejected and in the third case form number two so in the form number two there will be tender form and other documents of the contractor so this is the opening of the tender then scrutiny of tender in the scrutinization of the tender we have to list out the contractor which has been applied for that work and then we have to list out based on the bidding amount and then we have to select the lowest bid for that construction work. If the lowest contractor is not capable to do that work with respect to the finance, with respect to the resources, with respect to the facilities, so second last contractor is selected for that work. So this is the scrutinization of the contractor. And the next one is the after the scrutinization, our next stage is accepting that contract, accepting that tender. And if there is the voidable contract, so in that case, the rejection may be done by the owner. And after the scrutinization, after the rejection, the, the final step is the selecting the tender. Now, after the selecting the tender, our last stage is award contract. So in this stage, the pre-award meeting with the contractor, validation of the lowest compiling bid. Because we have selected the lowest bid, generally, in general, the bidding process, the lower bidding amount applied by the contractor is selected for the particular type of the work. And validate the lowest bid pre-contract meeting with the contractor for the contract signing because the after the finalizing of the tender allocation there should be required the signing of the both authorities by client or by contractor so in the tender process we have to follow this stage for the completing this process and in next session, we will understand tender notice, which we are using in this process. And we will also discuss about the important terminology, which we are using in the tender process like EMD, HD, earnest money deposit, security deposit, and any other important terminology we will discuss in further lecture. Thank you.